So yeah, I'm wearing, I'm wearing what's called my City Bowl shirt. I know it doesn't look like much. It was made there at some convention that I wrote, some thing they had in Cape Town. It was supposed to be the City Bowl of Cape Town. You know, City Bowl. You don't say City Bowl in, the, in here. I, I never heard that term until I got to South Africa. We just say, you know, you know, downtown or midtown or, you know, something like that. Bowl, what does that mean? Something like that. Look, I'm on a war path. I know, I know what you say, well, you know, but, but, but brother, you always on a war path. Well, this, I'm really on a war path now. Let me tell you what happened. Now, you may or may not know you being the, uh, the distinguished librarian that you are. Yeah, maybe I should ask a lot. Look, ask a librarian. You go to the library, let me ask you about this. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you about this. They're supposed to give Alice a new library, a brand new library building. Okay, no problem. Now, automatically I'm going like, oh, I know what they're going to do. They're just going to dust off some plan they have, you know, from the, you know, whatever, in the 70s or the 60s or the whatever, and just put a building down for whatever library is putting books in the building. I guess that's what it is. No, hey, when that Astor guy, you know, the Astor, the rich guy in New York, you know, they built the first public library over the reservoir in New York, where they got rid of the reservoir in midtown, and they made it, in, you know, the library. When they first had the idea, what happened was all these rich people had libraries. I mean, they had a library in their houses, and then somebody figured out Astor. I guess he figured out, hey, let, let's just put all, you know, just lend some of your books into this library just so other people can, you know, so they don't have to come to your house, they can come to some other place. That's how it started, or 100 or whatever, whatever years ago. Okay, now here we are now in the 2000s, 2000s, 18s. And you would think, you say, wait a second, libraries have changed since the first time when you took the books out of your, your library at your house and put it into a central library so people can come and borrow it. Now, I'm thinking, of what's the function of the library? Now, if you know the function of the library, a modern library, then you used to say, hey, we'll build the building according to the function. Sure enough. Like I said, sitting library committee, my chairman of the library committee, he was at a meeting yesterday, and uh, they told me, oh yeah, we're gonna build it. And then I, I had explained to him what they should happen. And he explained it to them, they said, oh no, we have our plans already, we can't do, let them, you know, let them, uh, they have to rent a hall if they want to do something like that. There's something like that, you know, that they misinterpret, this is why I have to present it, is this. A modern library, what do they do? What they do is, you know, if you have children, you know, you have your little books, you know, you open it up and you read to the kiddies right there in the library, you know what I mean? Sometimes you have poetry, some distinguished uh, author might come and read your library. So I'm asking for a little stage space, that's enough for like a poetry or something like that, a little sound system, in your room, just like that, so you can, you know, read to people, whatever it is. But more importantly, what I explained, I said, look, if you're going to build a new building, we have all this land anyway. One of, the, one of the areas of the building, one of the sides of the building should basically, like say if this is the side of the building, this is the side, well, you know, this is the building. Then what happens, you have a door, just this way, and it should, should, should happen that your door, right, put this way, however you put it, your door could open out. And I said, in other words, you have a big side of the building, then you have these big doors that can open out. And then what would happen is so if you have like um, three schools, four schools, then you have a lot of people out and on, they can still hear what's going on, you know, and it could be like an open thing. Then you could also have poetry readings, you have any kind of things, you, anytime you want to, you just close it back up when you want to close the building, and that would be fine. Don't worry about the details, that's it. Out of hand, without even thinking about it, they just said, no, that can't happen. Well, guess what? Hey, I'm going on the warpath. Because basically, they're saying, you know, we're going to do the same things that we've, that we've done and my thing is like, well, if they built this library 20 years ago, well, this, they built this library, and I was like 100 years ago, they built it 20 years ago, then shouldn't things change? And if you want to do the same plan, you know, they, they, or we have a plan that you dust off and give it to us, then why should we pay you even for this plan? Yeah, I, I, I know I'm getting, let me just cut to the chase. The point really is, if you have a library committee, it's supposed to inform the people. You're not supposed to, on the top, tell us what you want for us. Because your thing, basically, what I'm saying is, if you have the same building that you had 20 years ago, or you want to build the same thing you built 20 years ago, well then, guess what? We should pull your salary down to your 20 years ago salary. <laughs> How about that? If you can't advance what you're doing, then you shouldn't be paid. Why are you sitting there? Oh, no, no, no. And then here's the kicker. Look, 
as you know, I think that race is a false construct. Mm. Good enough. Because every once in a while, I get into the racial trap. So I said, well, I want to speak to the architect. I want to see the design. Who's the architect? The architect is a white guy. So here you are. You're going to continue with your colonial thing. And every time the white guy tells you something, you just want to do it. Or you just go, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm upset. I'm on the war path. I better calm down before I go on the war path because I don't want to put no paint on anything like that. You know, really. Well, look, I'm just asking you, as a librarian, does it make sense to do the same thing? Let me not load the question. What do you think about what I just said? Let's put it that way. I think you, you're right, you're on the right direction. I'm on the things, right direction. Yes, yes, yes. Things have moved on. Yes. And we should move on with the things. Yes. Yeah. And uh, if the person who said they have a plan for the library, well, what, what, what plan is that? That's what I'm saying. What plan? Who's going to see it? Yeah. Who's going to say it? Okay. Yeah, because especially a public library must cater for many, quite a number of uh, programs. Exactly. You know? And even the building itself must talk to those programs. Thank you. Uh, you know? So, yeah. And even the librarian mm -hmm. in that building must be, must change, must be a modernized librarian. Exactly. Must have moved on with the, with the years, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. Well, look, this has been a dispatch from the Arts Director Emeritus and, and, and Brother Belly. Uh, and I'm, well, I'm on my way to Tibet sooner or later. I'm taking a train there. And that would be me, T, from the Patterson, taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Uh, Brother Belly is staying in the library system, so, you know, I'm going to, you know, you got the whole thing. Yeah, you know.